Hey everyone, it's Warren here with another episode of Game Swim. There are a lot of new things that have been emerging from GTA Online, and one of the things that has been a ton of fun to watch are the roleplay videos. There are new groups forming all the time into roleplay servers where players can have a heavier story mode, and you can choose to be one of the NPCs and redesign the character in a number of ways. But one of the best roleplay groups right now is certainly Redline RP. Redline RP is a growing roleplay community. Anyone can put in an application, but not every single person who applies gets to join. There are certain requirements to join this server. One of the most basic requirements is an age requirement. There is also an audition. Basically, this has become a brand and they only want to protect their image. Many people who have applied and been denied took to Reddit to complain, but in all honesty, they simply weren't funny enough to be accepted. And there have been a few of the Redline RP family that flat out told them that. But what makes Redline RP the best? Well, let me tell you. Number three, the application. Like I said before, there is an application. This keeps things in line for the entire server. Anyone can apply, but only those who suit what the owners want will get in. So you already know what you can expect to see when you watch a Redline RP video. They are quality YouTubers, and they put a lot of effort and care into their videos. Plus, they are actually funny. The application also weeds out the content creators that may be a bit too aggressive or vulgar. We know what type of game GTA is, but the fact is you don't have to be creepy about your role playing when you play the game. And Redline makes sure that even though their content may not always be PG, it's not rated X either. Number two, the rules. There is a strict set of rules to be in Redline RP. The major one is that you can't break the rules of the game. Even though it can be interesting to see people essentially break the game, it really takes a lot of fun away from the game. At the end of the day, you're supposed to play it through the way it was intended to be played. When you break the system, it no longer serves its intended purpose for entertainment, and you may ruin the experience for other people. So Redline players are not allowed to break these rules. Players are also not allowed to use hacks. I think this is fair. It is a role play after all, and if you have to cheat or use hacks to be interesting, I don't think that you'd be that funny to watch. The point of the role play is to be entertaining and have fun. So these rules really keep the main purpose of the server in the forefront. Just have fun. Number one, advancing your channel. A lot of the YouTubers that have joined Redline RP have seen a great deal of advancements in their channels. They seem to get a lot more views and even way more subscribers than they did before. Because it is a community, a lot of the other people that watch Redline RP subscribe and watch the channels that are a part of the server. Not to mention, there are ridiculously popular YouTubers that are a part of Redline. So if you can become friends with them in collabs, then the chances of your channel growing goes up. If a great YouTuber tells their viewers to go watch your stuff, they are probably going to do it. What do you guys think of Redline RP? Do you think it is the best, or do you think a different server is the best? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you never miss a swim with Game Swim.